Hello everyone, uh, welcome to another video. Uh, hopefully you are doing well and uh, hope uh, it's not that late because like it's been almost uh, 10 days. Um, I have basically uploaded my previous video but whatever, now I'm here. I will discuss about a very important thing and that is like housing, renting and apartment problem. I mean like all in all I can topic this video as accommodation. So uh, let's get started. I will discuss about the accommodation problem and why it's needed. I mean, like why you need basically accommodation. Yeah, it's it's basically clear that like you need, you will need the accommodation to stay here inside Germany. But like uh, there are other small complex things as well. These are uh, really important. Uh, hopefully, I can describe you about it. And uh, another thing is, I will define like four ways uh, of finding your accommodation here in Germany uh, why it's important like why I am saying this to you and uh, why I I can share you my experience like why I can share your experience right so uh, for example like I'm staying in Munich so Munich is the most uh, complicated accommodation uh, or it's, it's really tough to find accommodation inside uh, Munich I mean, like if you compare it, like in, in the whole Germany, then Munich is the toughest to find an accommodation. So I have survived here. So I know the uh, small, small type of things like which might be helpful for you. That's why I'm basically delivering this video. So hopefully it will be a very good video for you. So let's get started. Okay, so why basically it's needed for you, like accommodation? Uh, so accommodation is needed for you, first of all, because like, you have to stay somewhere, right? Like uh, when you were coming inside Germany, you have to stay here, you have to uh, work from here, you have to study from here. So basically it's kind of a, um, a thing like where you can stay. For example, it can be a private apartment, it can be a uh, hostel, it can be... Um, dorm like private dorm or public dorm like whatever it is but it has to be some kind of room like where you can stay and you can do your stuffs so yeah that, that's the thing for the accommodation and another thing accommodation is uh, you need basically an accommodation contract detail or an accommodation or address to do the next steps of your um, formal residence permit inside germany so like um, for example, like if you don't have an uh, or if you don't have an address of your own or a permanent address or for example like a good defined address that this is your place where you are basically trying to stay or you are staying here. So if you are not having this, you won't uh, be able to do the city registration stuffs. And if you are not getting these city registration stuffs, then you cannot unblock your amount. Uh, unblock your uh, a block account or uh, further I can say like you, you cannot open a bank account and you also cannot go for your health insurance so it's, it's, it's very much needed I mean like if you uh, want to describe it like if I if you want to describe if I want to describe it like rate this accommodation problem like one to five then it will be it will gain the highest mark so Accommodation problem, see, like it's, it's important for your staying and also for your further formalities inside Germany for your residence permit. So I will describe these things in another video, like I have said it before, like how you will do it, like what are the things will be needed. So it will come in the next videos. So now, now we know like why accommodation is needed. Now I will describe like what are the four ways that can you apply when you were coming inside Germany or you are inside your home country and trying to arrange your um, accommodation from your home country you can basically do these stuffs right so first one is a student VEC it means the student union so what is the system of uh, Germany is like they have uh, an union type of thing for example like a group of people or an organization who is basically taking care of the students so that is called student work in German but like in, Ger in English if you translate it then it would be student union that means like the students or an organization who are basically working for the students and they basically own lots of halls lots of dorms so in Germany generally 
uh, dorms are allocated by this private organization which is called student by munchen <coughs> but um, exceptional cases are also there like some university has their own hall system as well but like more or less if you categorize in, in a general purpose then it will be uh, you won't find i mean like you won't find universities are giving you the accommodations it's the student and web it means like the student union who are basically trying to allocate the dorms for the students that means you have to apply for the dorm to the student work mention so it's just pretty simple just uh, uh, go to google and just search it like like for example like you can search it like student union munchen or student work munchen or you can say like student work berlin or student work then your location of your university then you will find the student work and their website and you can apply from there so these dorms are pretty cheap and these dorms if you are getting this dorm this will be your first priority like if you are getting this dorm then you are most likely staying and i'm basically uh, where i'm staying staying is a dorm from student student and white munchen so i kind of luckily got this dorm and yeah so that's the first thing like apply for the student dorms through student ten web your uh, university areas name and then apply second would be facebook groups so it's 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 it's, it's one of the vital um source from where you can have your accommodation so there are lots of facebook groups from your home countries uh group from your home countries group. for example like uh, in here we have i mean two or three groups i guess like bangladeshi i mean like uh, from my country there are like separate groups so it can be like uh, india it can be pakistan it can be for like other countries like it depends on your home country i think like each and every countries um residents who are living in such germany they have their own facebook group so you it's your responsibility to get connected to that facebook group and just ask for help it's it's one of the vital resources here in such germany to find an accommodation so mind it so facebook group is very 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 much important number 3 you can also uh, go to some website as well but uh, that, for example like you can use the market plats or marketplace of um, uh, facebook you can also uh, use the ebay clients or there there are other uh, websites as well but uh, i will recommend not to search uh, accommodation from there because like um, it, there are lots of fake news and uh, there are like you will find lots of um, post that looks really delicious uh, and you, you it's, it's you you will see that like it looks oh my god like it's pretty cheap i can get it but like some or other it's a fake thing so i will not recommend this three one that means the website thing but the facebook group is you can you can go for it it's it's it's, it's pretty obvious because like you can find the dorm rooms temporarily from this student friend uh, from this facebook groups so like for example like if i am going to um like going to rent this uh, i'm going to like um sublet my room for a certain period of time so then i will basically knock in the facebook group or i will post there so from there you can have a glimpse like this fellow is going to um sublet his room so you can contact me and you can get this room so that is the process so it goes for telegram as well it goes for whatsapp as well so for it means like all in all like number 2 will be like like all the social medias uh, of your home countries people and also the other groups as well like give your connectivity in a high price so that so that why you can have your connectivity in uh, in 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 a, in a way that can be beneficial for you and number 4 it would be like search someone who is very much um capable of giving you the news for example like in every where in the dorm or in the in the in the, in the whole area of your university there should be some people who are working for the students for example i know some people like who are working for the students of bangladesh 
in here in Munich. So I, I, I just got lucky that I, 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 I knew some of the seniors and I, I, I somehow got connected to them and like they helped me a lot. So that while number four would be like find someone who is very much, uh, I mean, known to the system of, uh, of your university area. For example, like in Munich, like there is a system going on, like in Berlin, there should be something different system going on. So these four things are very, very much important and you can apply for it for to find your accommodation. So I would basically and uh, seriously recommend you for num number one would be student and work munition. That means like uh, the student dorms from the student union. Number two would be Facebook groups. Number three would be like th there are some websites from there you can also have a glimpse like where you can find the uh, room and number four would be um, find someone who is very much known to the system of your area and last but not that not the least it's it's kind of optional and that is um, some some people. Um, or some people <coughs> there are some private dorms as well who are uh, which are I mean like those are run by the private companies so you also can find this this uh, news from your university website portal so there for the students universities sometimes not sometimes they regularly update that like what are the accommodation websites you can have or you can find and what are the accommodation, private accommodations are there for the students. So you can also uh, have a glimpse of these private accommodations. So I know lots of people here in Germany and inside Munich who got their dorm like for one and one and a half years, mostly one years uh, from this private accommodation system. So it's, it's pretty, pretty system. For example, like I know like uh, the Caritas, so they are a big, they are, a uh, big organization in Germany, kind of like social perspective, it's an NGO, I guess, it's an NGO, yeah. So they own, I mean, they own, I mean, like they own lots of dorms, lots of private um, hostels. So in the Caritas website, you can find it, I guess, like, yeah. So that, that's the thing, like, you, you have to search it, like, for it, like, like, what are the facilities are available in your university, yeah, from there you can find and accommodation so and mind it like an accommodation is, is very much important and and um, uh, yeah it's, it's 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 pretty obvious that like yeah you will have to stay right and you will have to have that permanent address or an address and valid a valid address because like with this valid address you can do the further formalities for your residence permit and for example like in here in Germany you will find lots of letters by post so if you are not having an address and a valid address then these letters won't come properly and you can cannot get the proper information and and you will find basically a loss of hassles so if you are not thinking to increase your hassles you should think about your apartments you, you should think about your accommodation and uh, yeah hopefully you will get one and uh, if you are not getting one an accommodation there is a there is a solution as well so like it's a temporary solution so i think i will discuss this temporary solution in another video but like for this video hopefully this kind of informations are pretty much helpful for you hopefully you will get one accommodation from your um, I mean like sitting in your home country or after coming to Germany so that's all from today's video hope um, you liked it and if you're liking it then please do subscribe do like comment and share and uh, if you want you can follow me in my instagram you can follow me in my linkedin and you can also follow my facebook page which is jj costas blog and uh, yeah that's all from today's video and see you in the next video and to the next video please do care of your health put your mask on always and stay safe ciao